Good morning and welcome to day 102 northbound on the Appalachian Trail. Had a very, very good night's sleep in my tent last night at the 501 shelter. Had a great spot. It was nice and flat and there was a great breeze coming out from underneath the tent. Uh, yeah, it was just a wonderful, wonderful evening. And of course I got my eggplant <laughs> and spaghetti, which half is in my pack. I'm going to eat it cold for lunch today because the portion was just um, out of control. <laughs> Even a hungry hiker um, like myself couldn't finish it. Uh, anyway, it was a, a great night. And today, planning to do 15 miles. I think it's 15.3. But, uh, you know, the mileage that's listed in Far Out does not seem to correlate with my Garmin at all. I mean, it was off by almost two miles yesterday, and I'm not straying off trail. So I'm going to say 15 miles, but I don't know what will be when I get there. We'll see. Um, but anyway, planning to do 15 miles, and that will get me to Eagle's Nest Shelter, and uh, probably will camp uh, as well. So, and then tomorrow we'll push into Port Clinton, um, have a shorter day tomorrow, nine or 10 miles to get to Port Clinton to resupply. And I've confirmed with those really nice people that were a trail magic, um, Tom and Ruth or Rooster and Tinkerbell. And uh, they're gonna help me resupply and uh, shower, laundry, the whole bit. So wonderful, I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you to them. Um, and yeah, gotta get to Cabela's. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think not last night, but the night before at the shelter, when I slept in the shelter, <laughs> I hope this doesn't freak anybody out, but uh, my buff that I wear around my head, um, I slept with it on my eyes because I went to bed early and people were still up. This is the night that we would have the thunderstorms that didn't happen. And then I took it off and put it right next to my uh, quilt. I knew exactly where it was. When I got up in the morning, it was gone. So animals, <laughs> rats, mice in shelters have been known to steal socks, buffs, and bandanas and make little nests. Well, I have a feeling some mouse or some rat has a beautiful nest with my blue and white buff because <laughs> I no longer have it. So that was a bummer. Um, <laughs> so that's missing. Uh, my titanium spoon seems to have disappeared. I used it last night and I cannot find it anywhere. So I think I have to buy another one when I get to Cabela's, which is a big outfitter. What else? Oh, my Kulo cloth, which, you know, is a good thing to have when you pee in the woods. Um, that is missing. That I think I dropped because I had it in my side pocket. Probably grabbed a bar out of the pocket and then that fell out. So <laughs> I feel a bit like a space cadet. I don't know. It's not like me to lose things. Um, what else do I need to get while I'm there? Oh yeah, cheap pair of sunglasses, but that's, <laughs> that was my fault, putting them on my head and climbing over rocks hand over hand and not having them secure. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's not unusual. I've done over a thousand miles and might even hit 1200 today, I think. But um, you know, you have to uh, replace gear that gets damaged or lost or whatever along the trail. 
<laughs> I just feel kind of foolish because I hate losing things. Um, anyway, there's a woman in front of me with a five-year-old and a seven-year-old and they're hiking parts of the trail and she's doing a great job. Her husband is um, meeting them at different locations. He's a cyclist, so he's riding his bike to different locations uh, and then meeting up with them. And they slept in the shelter last night. Uh, so I think they're having a really good time and maybe they'll let me interview them. All right. Hi, there they are. All right. Hey guys. So I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna flip okay. this Okay, hi guys. Tell me your names, your trail names. I, um, animal Lover. What is it? Animal Lover. Animal, animal Lover, and yours? Hiker Puppy. Hiker Puppy, love it. And yours, I know yours is Trojan. Trojan, yeah. Yes, and where are you guys from? South Carolina. Look. South Carolina. Yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. Carolina. Oh, don't put that in your mouth, honey. Yeah, oh, please. Oh, no, no. That makes me nervous. That's That's yeah. got a tack on it. That's got a pointy thing. Don't yeah, put that in your mouth. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, you having fun? Woodpecker. Woodpecker. No, <laughs> How many miles are you doing today? Nine. Nine? Nine. Nine. All right. That's awesome. <coughs> and you feeling good? Yeah? Are you boys feeling good? You're not feeling good today? No, no. Well, maybe as you walk, you'll feel better. All right. <laughs> I just woke up. You just woke up. <laughs> well, Trojan, like I said yesterday, you get the Cool Mom Award. Thank you, thank you. So oh. keep keep up the great work. <laughs> yeah, will do. Have a good hike. Thanks. We had a nice chat with the caretaker at the uh, 501 shelter last night. He has a house there, and um, he was telling us that. The Rock Slovenia, so the rocks in Pennsylvania that the AT is known for, uh, start now. Uh, he said, well, I mean, <laughs> there have been plenty of rocks so far along the way, even 20, 30 miles back, they sort of started. But he said, now it really starts to get pretty dense. And he's right. So basically, my mileage, I don't know about other hikers, but my mileage will probably decrease because you have to be very deliberate about your foot placement. Uh, the rocks are sort of scattered all around. Some of them are loose, some of them are not, and some of them are large, some of them are small. It really depends on the area that you're in. And then you get a little break, you know, like right here is a nice little break but uh, then they start up again. They were definitely more dense uh, yesterday at some parts where I really had to just stay on top of the rocks and hop over them. Um, but this is the area where a lot of people get injured if you're not careful. So I'm hoping to be careful. <laughs> so let us pray um, that my ankles and feet can, can uh, withstand this. So far, so good. Uh, but uh, you can't, for me, I won't be going as fast or probably as far. So 15 miles today will be our max. And um, like I said, nine into Point Clinton tomorrow is the plan. So, all right. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad right here. As you can see, it's not too bad. But uh, he did indicate that from here to pretty much the rest of PA, <laughs> which I have quite, I have, whoops, I don't know what that was. I have quite a few miles left in PA. Um, he said the, the rocks continue to stay pretty dense. So here we go. Let the fun begin. Let Roxylvania. Do its thing. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you, Roxylvania. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna put this phone away so I have both hands on my poles and uh, being careful about my foot placements. All right, <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. Here's our view for today. One of the views anyway. Wow, gorgeous. Looks like a lot of farmland down there. 
I'll zoom in. Yeah. Wow. Super cool. This great. I'm Nan. Nan. And you. I'm Parker. Parker. And Tyler. Tyler. And I'm Sparrow. And you guys are from. Tell me where you're from. We're b from. Me Belfont. and Tyler are from Belfont, PA. And I'm from Fredericksburg, PA. Fredericks, PA. And you are grandmother. Yes. Ah, and you hiked the trail in sections. And For you did it. It took me 22 years. 22 years. That <laughs> I grew is... old on the trail. Well, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's going to happen anyway. So you might as well hiking, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, this is their first, the boys, their first camping trip. And Grandma's taking them down to the creek where we were. And they're going to set up camp down there. I'm so excited. And go excited. swimming. And go swimming. All right. Sounds great. And they got Bandit with them who is, who is uh, interested in Micah. <laughs> okay. Off trail, just like 10 feet and uh, there's a little campsite here there's the fire pit and places for tents we're not gonna stop here to uh, tent we're gonna stop here to eat lunch <laughs> it's a nice shady spot for Micah and um, I am going to have my leftovers <laughs> from yesterday yes I carried that up with me because I cannot throw food away and I have some bread from yesterday and an apple. That will be my lunch. Mike is enjoying a treat and he's just chilling. And then we're gonna carry on. We have about eight more miles to go to get to Eagle's Nest Shelter, which is where we're gonna spend the night tonight. 1755, site of the Fort Diedrich Snyder, a lookout post to warn of the approach of enemies in the French and Indian War. Interesting. Blueberries? No, I, I was looking down at my Where were they? <laughs> you know, uh, two miles from here. You know where the um, white rocks were? And it kind of looked like there was a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was all blueberries. Wow. You got a lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> they were so sweet. That's yum, all. yum, yum. Anyway, but I was slow anyway. It was, it was tough going on those, uh, on the uh, rocks. But it was good. Anyway, you're all set for tomorrow. She actually mentioned your name. Oh, really? She said, Toad yeah, is more than welcome to join us, well, spend the night. You won't get a little, oh you won't gosh, get that's little. incredible. I'll, I'll read the email. I mean, the text. Is, she's just so gracious, this woman. Right. Really? Is, <laughs> where, <laughs> we're at Eagle's Nest um, Shelter. And in front of me, I have four gentlemen. And these two with the black shirts are... Tell me your names and what you're doing. Uh, hammer toe and we're we're sectioning from Amicalola. We've sectioned Amicalola to here. We're going to do we're doing a nine ten day trek this time. We're getting off tomorrow at Port Clinton. In Port Clinton, yeah. Uh, my name is Off Road. I am his next door neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> and we uh, started hiking together, uh, section hiking in Georgia, and we have sectioned from there to here. And we've not killed each other yet. <laughs> so you're doing the AT in sections. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you plan to finish the whole thing. Before I'm 70. Before you're 70. And you. I'm almost 66. And you're almost 66. So every year you're going to do a little bit more. You're going to take yeah, some I've chunks got, out. I've got to get 300 miles in probably each summer now. That's awesome. Well, you guys are making great progress. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I saw them last night at the um, 501 shelter and um try to get you a diet pepsi but they forgot it i know <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> and then over here we have just mark i'm uh man my name is just mark just i'm a section hiker too. section hiker and you I hope to do it by 70. you help to finish by 70. Yes, but I, you're you're doing it state by state i'm trying state by state right now i'm doing pa and then uh you know, I'll work south. I'll do Virginia. Mer well, you know, Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia. Okay. And by that time, hopefully my kid will be out of school and I can rope him and then go and with me for the remainder of it. That you could rope him to do it with you, part of it? Yes. So. And if the this is going online, let me know where so I can show it to him. Oh, I will. Peer pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Pennsylvania is the first state you're doing? Yes. 
Wow, you picked a tough one to start. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm coming to that conclusion finally. Yeah. I'm that real quick. Yeah, I would have told you to start maybe start in Virginia or something. And not, I mean, not Virginia's not easy, it's but rocky. it's pretty. I mean, pretty. Pennsylvania's pretty. It's just different. It's rocky. Yeah. All right, chopsticks. Tell us where you're from. Chopsticks, New Hampshire, New England. And we are doing a through hike, but it's a uh, flip flop. So okay. Harpers to Katahdin, and then in the fall, Katahdin down to Springs. Yeah, and but you have to tell us how many times you've done the AT. This is the third. This is your third time yeah. doing the AT. And you're originally from Reading, Massachusetts. That area, yes. Which is 20 minutes from where I'm from. Yep. Which is pretty amazing. But and now you're in. Right around the corner. Yep. And Chopsticks is great because he lets us know what's coming up. He does. Well, he, well, where's, a good, where's a good place to eat? I don't want to ruin it for you guys, though. So. He, he showed me a few tricks, too. I was some uh, tricks. You ain't going to ruin it for us. Yeah, we're on camera here. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's, it's wonderful to get advice from a more experienced hiker. Amen. Yep. Yeah. Well, I wish you all luck, and thank you for being on my channel. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you.